Last week I was trying to sell some used electronic items on a classified website and I was nearly scammed out of my phone number. And there's a good chance that some of you out there may fall for this too. So today I'm here to tell you what to watch out for and what to do if you do fall for it. So I have this used LG soundbar that I'm trying to sell and so I created an ad at KSL Classifieds. And within minutes I get a text message from somebody saying, is LG soundbar with wireless rear speaker set still available now? And I say, yes it is. And then they say, okay, but first can I send you a code so that I know that you're not a scammer because I don't do business with scammers. And I think to myself, well, this is great. I don't do business with scammers either. So I say, sure, send me a code. And then he says, cheek your 22,000 phone text massage and send me six digit code. And that's when I get a text message from 22,000 with my Google Voice verification code. Okay, why is Google sending me a verification code? It also comes with this link that sends me to a page that says when you sign up for Google Voice or add a phone to your account, Google sends you a text message with a verification code. You enter this code to activate voice on your phone. Okay, so what's going on here is that this buyer is trying to set up a Google Voice number linked to my personal cell phone number. And all he needs is the six digit verification code. He has no interest in my soundbar. All he wants is the code. And if he is able to connect a real United States phone number to his Google Voice account, he could potentially do some real crazy crap. For example, there are scammers from Nigeria who are able to set up US bank accounts if they have a legit US number. And they can also set up text message forwarding. So if they get your username for Venmo or Coinbase, they can start receiving two-step verification codes to gain access and wire money to themselves from your bank account. <gasps> so it's not good to give them your number or this code, but if you have fallen for this and a scammer currently has your number, and if you've stumbled across this video because you're worried, calm down because I'm gonna get you through it. Come with me if you want to live. Step one is that you've got to set up a Google Voice account for yourself. You can do this at voice.google.com. If you've already got one, then just proceed to the next step. Step two, go to settings, then go down to account, then go to linked numbers. You need to link a phone number to your account and you can't add your own right now because it's been stolen. So we've got to add another one first. And it could be your friends or your moms or anyone that trusts you. And don't worry, it's only temporary. Step three, now you should be able to reconnect your personal number. So go to add a new link number and enter your personal phone number. It'll give you a warning that it's being used by another account and it'll ask you if you really want to claim it and you're gonna say, yes, of course I want to claim it. And then you're gonna to need to enter the six digit code to finalize it. And now you can breathe a sigh of relief because you've now gotten your number back. And if the scammer wants to use it again, he's gonna need a new verification code from you. And for heaven's sakes, please do not give him another one. And also remember to remove your mom's number from the account. Okay, so anyway, the scammer of mine finally moves on after he realizes that I wasn't gonna give him what he wanted but I am a very stubborn man and I wanted to investigate further. So I set up a whole new ad to lure him back in. I went and I found a random image of a used soundbar on Google and then I typed up a bunch of mumbo jumbo and I placed the ad. And sure enough, within a few minutes, I got a text message. Is the soundbar still available now? <laughs> I said, yes it is. Okay, but first can I send you a code so that I know that you're not a scammer? Because I don't do business with scammers. Okay, where have I heard this before? I said, sure thing. Cheek your 22,000 phone text massage and send me the six digit code. And sure enough, I get a code from Google, which I ignore, but I say, got it. He said, you got my code. I said, yes. He said, you got my code. And I said, yes, here's the screenshot. And this is not a real screenshot. It's a redirect URL that will tell me his IP address if he clicks on it. I just need to hope that he's dumb enough to do it but he doesn't. Instead, he says, I just sent you the code. Find the text message on your phone and just send me that code. And I'm like, I just did, I sent you the screenshot. You got my code. Yes, sent my code. <sighs> this stupid idiot. I'm like, okay, here it is. And then he goes quiet, leaving me with no information on his IP address. He got away. But I'm still not giving up, so I set up a whole new account on KSL under a different name and I created a whole new bogus ad with another random image of a soundbar. And I kid you not, three minutes later, I get the following text message. 
I saw your post LG soundbar with wireless rear speaker set. I'm sending six digit code from Google. Send me the code back. If you are real, then I'll call you, okay? These people need to find a new hobby. Check your phone message. You've got six digit codes, so send back code. If you are real, then I'll call you. So then the code comes in and I say, I got it. He said, send the code. And instead of giving him the real code, I tell him 8675309. You've got a six digit code text from 22,000 or send me code screenshot. Yeah, I guess I could have guessed that that number wasn't gonna work, but I thought, okay, I'll give him a screenshot. And so I sent him the Grabify link that I created earlier. Send me, send me code screenshot or buy. This is when I realized that these guys just aren't gonna click on my links, at least not my redirects. So I sent him a URL that's a little bit more recognizable. At this point, I decide to call it a day because I'm running out of email addresses to use. But if anyone out there has a couple hours to kill, I'd love to hear what you can dig up. Apparently, it's not hard to get one of them to contact you. And my bet is that these guys are originating out of Nigeria, but I would love to know what you guys learn. And also, if you're in the market for a great used sound bar, then I'd love to hear from you as well. I'll even autograph it for you if that sweetens the pot. Guys, thanks so much for watching. I hope this video helps and I hope that you stay safe out there from folks who are looking to do you harm. So have a great day and look forward to more videos coming your way very soon.